we got not one, but two and three and four, soon to be fifth once it comes in the mail, boxes of the 25th anniversary reprints. Finally, we finally got the funds together to do this. It is the best investment of all time that you can make. Let's dive on into it, shall we? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most and the most amount of boxes, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living investment boo-boo stain <laughs> off of that subscribe button as we climb even further beyond the 1200 ladder, currently sitting at 1,281 subscribers, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. I truly do appreciate all of the support. Now, why did I show off all of these beautiful luscious boxes to you. Look, look at how nice this looks. I mean, just, oh, it just, mwah, it, it spews nostalgia out of my holes, every orifice, and it makes my chest hair get all tied up in a bow tie for you. <laughs> but why did we do this? So let, let's give a little bit of backstory here. So on TCG Player, after shipping and handling and taxes and everything, at least here for Florida, $290.80 basically $300, got us Pharaoh's Servant, Spell Ruler, Invasion of Chaos, uh, Legend of Blue Eyes, uh, and then Metal Raiders was also the fifth box. That'll probably be in within the next day or two. That's the only one I'm waiting on because we just got three that came in the mail today, uh, one of which was LOB. Spell, Spell Ruler was actually the first one to make it, and oh, just look at that. It, it's so beautiful. What's crazy is that LOB was actually like almost $85. Like it was like $84.95, something like that. Pharaoh Servant was the cheapest at $40 even, which is just insane. Why did we make this investment? Why are we making this video? Because yes, a lot of people have been talking about that Yu-Gi-Oh! investments are massively on the decline and that Yu-Gi-Oh! sets are doing terrible. What I feel like a lot of people fail to realize is that yes, there is a big issue with Yu-Gi-Oh! right now where specifically with the distributors, that if you're not constantly buying a large amount of product, then the distributor isn't going to allocate as much product to you as they would other stores. And that is a massive issue that needs to be fixed. Set wise, yes, we've had a lot of garbage sets. Like the the Soul Burning Volcano side set was garbage. You know, we have other sets down the pipeline that are going to be good, such as Age of Overlord, Phantom Nightmare in 2024, now the Maze of Millennium or Maze of Millennia that just got revealed, that will be probably a really good set, especially since it has uh, Bonfire and Transaction Rollback, which is just insane. But to have investments for the long term, Konami has done a really, really good banger of a job re-releasing things like LOB. Now, they could have done this better obviously, right? You know, the way that they reprinted cards and the, specifically the coloring of the cards. And what I mean by that is like, if you look at a Blue Eyes White Dragon out of LOB from like 2002, the actual printing of the card and the coloring of it is going to be darker than they would a vanilla monster in this 25th anniversary box. Um, so I don't like that they didn't stick to the original. They remade it for, you know, 2023. But to have these boxes that are going to be up in my office on display, I'll be sure to take a picture and put it in my community post. So be sure to stick around for that. To have these boxes here and to be able to hold on to them for 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 years, whatever the case may be, and have them gain value is insane because there will be a time, mark my words, there will be a time where eventually Konami is going to go... We're done celebrating the 25th anniversary. The boxes are out there in the wild. You cannot purchase these anymore. If you want to purchase them, you have to go on the secondary market. You cannot tell me that, yes, even though Pharaoh's Servant inherently is not that good of a set, I think even by standards back in the day was not that good of a set. Like you had Gear Free the Iron Knight, and I think Jinzo is also in Pharaoh's Servant. There may have been a couple other things in the set that I'm not thinking about. I think that this was the Jinzo set. Even like back in the day, the only good things to get out of Pharaoh's Servant was Jinzo, maybe Gear Free the Iron Knight for like Butterfly Dagger Elma stuff back in the day. And even today, a box of Pharaoh's Servant was $40 even before taxes and all that. But for me to get one of each box, $290.80, 
let's just call it $300. You mean to tell me that for $300, I can get one of each box on a very cheap scale other than LOB, which was over $60, but everything else was like at the most 58 or cheaper. Like I said, Pharaoh's Servant was 40. To have that investment set aside and to just have it gain value, like especially even with just in a couple years down the road, when Konami stops putting out these boxes and they can no longer be acquired, before you know it, you're going to have to go on the secondary market and spend hundreds of thousands of dollars. You know, you look at something like Shadow of Infinity sealed booster boxes. I think last time I checked were like $4,000. They may have even doubled by now because the sets are so old, you can only get them on the secondary market. And especially when you have something as iconic as LOB, still factory sealed. I mean, this is already getting near the $100 mark. And the fact that just within a couple years, there's going to be money to be made on this sealed product is absolutely insane. And they're also great for like, like I said, office space. Like you put them up on display in like a gaming office or a retro gaming setup and just have them gain value. Just don't put them in your closet or where they can get in the sun. And so, yes, other sets in the game have been bad recently, but to have a fantastic set of boxes like Invasion of Chaos, especially with Invasion of Chaos being like $50 a box when this was such an amazing set, I mean, you, you cannot compete with this, especially for a type of investment. Is there anything good in any of these sets in 2023? No, there's not. Like, there, there's honestly no reason to open up these boxes. And I mean, especially like, yes, like you should support your OTS store. But even like one of my OTS stores, it's, I told them like, it's just too rich for my blood. They're charging $99.99 for a box of LOB, $100.00. And that's just way too much. Like, like that, that's the issue that a lot of OTS stores are facing right now is that the overhead on these boxes is just too much compared to the secondary market in some places, unfortunately. And it makes it hard to support OTS stores. But when you are able to get these cheap on the secondary market or like if you just don't care about supporting your OTS store, which is fine, that's whatever. Being able to have this type of investment, even when the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! itself product-wise isn't doing that well, is fantastic. Now... If you decide to invest in this, for, especially on the $300 scale, which I think for $300, this is an absolute investment. You should definitely do this. What uh, There is also the question, like, what about Yu-Gi-Oh! if it dies off? Or, like, what if Yu-Gi-Oh! does this for more sealed product? Like, what if they redo, like, Tactical Evolution and they put that back out, whatever? I don't think that they'll do that. I mean, if they do, then that's just more investment opportunity. But then also... The, there's no reason why you shouldn't spend $300 on these, one of each box. I should be specific. I didn't buy like a case of each. I did one of each box. You know, $300 for one of each? Yeah, sit on it. It's going to take several years for it to gain value though. You need to keep that in mind. Um, but the reason why that I say that our investment is growing is because I actually also have uh, in a sealed display case, the three Egyptian God cards, and it's the ultra rare GBI ones uh, from like the Game Boy game or something like that. But I think the set name was like GBI or whatever it was. Uh, and I remember my dad got them for me back when I was in third grade. So like seven, eight years old. I remember it's because I got AB honor roll. I think he got it for like 125, 150 bucks. And now like each copy of the cards, like 40 to 50 bucks a piece. Um, obviously that's not as good of an investment turnaround as something like sealed LOB that's thousands of dollars, but it's still nice to have. It's a nice sentimental piece, uh, to have in our collection that we can expand upon. And of course I've got other pieces like actual individual cards that are part of like a memento, like collection piece for Yu-Gi-Oh that I've had for years. Um, now if I did have money to blow, I would most certainly get 11 more boxes of LOB. Because could you imagine having 12 boxes of LOB 25th anniversary 15 years down the line and a whole case is $50,000? Woo! Oh my God. Like, touch me there and call me dad. Like, that. that's a good-ass investment. So I don't regret this investment one bit, especially that after all was said and done, it was technically under $300. If you've got the money to blow on one of each box, I say go for it. Just keep in mind that it's going to take several years to get that investment back. So if you can afford to do this, by all means do it. I'll definitely take a picture of all five boxes together once my uh, Metal Raiders box comes in the mail within the next couple of days. But yeah, I, I absolutely love the fact that these are going to be great office space pieces. Um, 
yeah, I mean, th th they're going to be great pieces. They're going to be great investments. Um, and yeah, it, it's it's a great momentous, uh, I, I guess not momentous is the right word, but it's a great nostalgia piece. And I really like that Konami did this, and I really like how they've turned out. And I cannot wait to make money on this. Is it going to take years? Probably. I'll probably get made fun of in the comment section, like, Avery, you lost your money. But no, the, the, the nostalgia behind this and the potential money to be made for under $300 you can't pass that up. That That is literally Konami saying, here's some free chicken nuggies. Have at it. So let me know what you guys think about this investment. Have you invested in any of the 25th anniversary? I've been waiting for a while to do this. I wanted to really wait until I saw the market kind of going up. And especially for the LOB sealed boxes, these are already on the rise, at least when I checked uh, a couple weeks ago when I bought this. So do keep that in mind if you want to uh, take the Pepsi challenge. So guys, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video.